If you checked your retirement account this morning, if you're one of the people who has to keep looking, you might have seen a lot of red, though. 7 News anchor and reporter Diane Lee looked into how we can survive the market volatility. Yeah, Gordon, I spoke with a number of financial advisors who work for different firms but share a common belief. Despite the recent roller coaster ride, we are still in a bull market, they say, that isn't likely to stop for some time. Investors who once salivated at the sound of Wall Street's opening bell have a new response, anxiety. Sean Wagoner says within the last few months, he pulled everything out of his 401k. It's been quite the ride and looking at the political you know, landscape at the moment, um, I just knew it was going to be kind of tumultuous for a while and I decided to go ahead and, and get out early. That response, understandable, especially on a day when the Dow opened more than 500 points down. But financial planners like Bo Schuler say research shows we are still very much in the middle of a long-term bull market. Earnings are very strong, uh, revenues are way up, companies are making a lot of money, and we continue to believe that it's time to buy. We checked in with other firms who agree. They say if this run is anything like the bull market from 1982 to 2000, we have a long way to go before it peaks, which is why experts favor this approach. I put it in the funds and don't touch it. Still, it may be hard to ignore the turbulence. To put it in perspective, the VIX index, which gauges fear in the market, got above 24 today, which is on the high end of the normal range. Last month, it got above 50. So today's reaction is not the most extreme that we seen in recent weeks. And if you look at that same index from last year, you'll see the volatility never got above 20. So in comparison, this year has been unsettling. Wagner remains skeptical. He plans to invest his cash in a new business, trusting more in his hard work than the uncertainty of the market. I have control of that. Um, so that's, that's where my money is going. So really, investment experts say this volatility is actually a good opportunity to invest, which is perhaps why the market, Gordon, ended up today. Mm -hmm. And the advice with your retirement accounts, unless you are a professional investor, just focus on those age-appropriate funds. Leave it in there for the long term. And, and frankly, look, an overwhelming majority of us who have any money in a stock, it is like a 401k or an exactly. IRA, something like that. I guess just never look at it, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, you can stress yourself you out by seeing all the red day to day. So the, the good thing is just to keep checking in with a financial advisor, but make sure you're in a fund that's age appropriate for your mm -hmm. retirement. And again, it's that long term benefit that you'll really see over the years. But if you start to shuffle things around too much in yeah, between, it can, yeah, it can really stress you out. Diane, thank you. You bet.